hi guys it's George from Cypress Insight today it's Wednesday Wednesday sailing day so we've come up here at our little dinghy club there's all the dinghies lined up there's a few people going to turn up today I do believe there's Titanic looking very sorry for itself all the paintwork's gone funny isn't it guys we've stripped it down still got his sail there let's cover that up so the sun doesn't deteriorate that sail and what i'll do is i'll take that sail home with me soon this is our little boat guys you might have not seen it before there it is i acquired that last year beautiful little boat you know what i've forgotten what it's called now let's have a look on the side see what it's called it's a hobby 405 there we are great little boat i love it and if you've got a strong wind it's a lot of fun guys but it's a little bit unstable i did put this jib furling system there it is if no one's seen it before and that's made from a bicycle hub it's a brand new bicycle hub i paid about 15 euros for it but it's a aluminium one you can't use a steel one because it'll go rusty but unfortunately the bearings do still go a bit rusty there they're supposed to be sealed it's not too bad look it's still moving but it's not too bad I've got a new system and I'll show you that in a minute unless you've seen my previous videos on the Olympic then you see exactly what I've done but I will go through quickly what I've done on the Olympic just in case you haven't seen the video now I'm here on the little boat because I want the little wind director that I've left in here now Rob's with me today, he's coming out on the Olympic. Hi guys. We've got the wind director, there it is. It's quite useful actually. Right, let's go over to the Olympic. I've got my life jacket in there. Last time we were here was last week, Rob was with me and we swapped boats. We swapped the car parking space, should I say. I put the little boat down there and we've got Olympic right next to the water so it's easy to launch so we do struggle and I end up bringing the car here much better car, much it's, better much better docks here that's a much better car parking space isn't it except it's not a car you know what I mean boat parking or whatever you want to call it right we've got the cover on we'll take the cover off we'll put the rudder on and then we'll show you exactly what we've done on this just in case you haven't seen the videos that's looking smart now isn't it it's a bit dusty but it's looking really smart right let's just go over to the jib furling first guys i showed you the one on the little boat made from a bicycle hub this particular one i've made from some plumbing bits and a little mm, i call it a, a reel that i bought from timu you can get them from ebay and then some stainless steel bits that works perfectly and that unreels the jib or the front sail and um, we've got a lovely blue sail on this particular boat and then we'll set it up and then i'll go through a few more bits the sign on the front oh oh the new sign nice one rob there it is the olympic part of the white star line So there's the sail guys and I've done a very simple system. I've put some cleats here, one, two and two on the other side and that's all we've got. And of course the furling thing. Really, really easy guys. So we'll put the main sail up, pulling that rope on the other side. And then this one's for the jib and this one's for the downhaul. We'll show you that later. Oh, well done, Rob. I always forget the plugs. Don't be sinking, do we? No. Put the plugs in. Now, these are additional plugs because I found that it partly sunk the first time I launched it and we needed to get a lot of water out, so I put some further up. There we are. There we are. So quick, isn't it? We just put the main sail up, guys. As I said before, the jib's already set up, the front sail, with this furling. And that runs down there underneath the boat to this little cleat here with a thin rope which i might replace because it's a little bit too thin and that runs to the cleat so when we want to 
let the front sow out or the jib I'll just loosen it from there and it comes out and then pull the little fin rope when we want to wind it back in and we're probably using the jib today this is the center board it's very very heavy very hard to pull up so what I've done I've put a, a double pulley system coming back here onto this cleat that was there before and I use that just loosen it off and it goes down it's fine oh one thing we do have to do today is check this little cleat round here guys because last time we were out the jib ideally should go through this one not through the front one but this is a little bit stiff look at that well stiff well we'll put some WD-40 on that uh, some in the shed um, what else we got to do? Oh, the wind finder, well done. There we are, that sits there nicely. That's easy to use. And that's it guys, we painted it. This is full of polystyrene. All the buoyancy tanks are full of polystyrene. We put new hatches. There's one there, one there, and one on this side, and one right inside. That gave me access to stuff it with polystyrene. There we are, just in case it does leak a bit, which it does. We did discover a leak when we went out with it last week here. I put some special mastic stuff, really strong. We have still got a tiny leak, but we'll do that another day. Uh, apart from that, guys, that's it. That's what we've done. We've painted it. I put a chair at the back. I do like a chair at the back. Not very good with other sailors they don't particularly want the chair at the back but I, I don't want to go on my hands and knees and sometimes I don't want to sit out here and unbalance the boat being quite a large person so I've got a seat inside also I put my feet across there onto the other bench when it's leaning right we are ready to go there is one more job to do actually two more jobs we put the rudder on and we fixed the rudder last time and that's fine and we are going to make a little step a, a rope type step so we can put our feet on to the step and jump in because it's quite difficult to get in isn't it very difficult it's very low, difficult no rocks below your feet. yeah we need rocks behind our feet and there are rocks out there where that boy is but we need some help so we've got a couple more jobs to do before we uh, go out on the Olympic we're going to make a rope ladder at some pipe and some rope and then uh, we go out and put the uh, rudder on of course another job that I might do in the future I might put a little bit of wood at the back there so if it sits on its bottom like it has now it don't damage the boat it sits on a bit of wood well hi guys it's a bit hair raising at the moment we sort of made Fig Tree Bay but we didn't actually land right in Fig Tree Bay it's really really windy around Fig Tree Bay so we kind of abandoned Fig Tree Bay and now we are heading back we're heading back towards Aya Triada we are near whoa, near enough parallel hey, to the amazing Flamingo Paradise Hotel there it is at my back now I'm not going to turn around because it is blustery a little bit and we are heading close to the wind so I'm heading now to a Napa Marina oh sorry no it's a Paralimni Marina the new Paralimni Marina so I'm, I'm losing my head here because I'm trying to keep the wind in the south the wind's going to my side now so I'm just trying to keep this wind fair and it's calmed down a little bit hasn't it Rob not bad at all now it Rob's, calms now that it's going to trick us in a minute it might do it might do um when we were out there guys in the far reaches of Fig Tree Bay out in sea it was really hair raising out there so we didn't take the camera out and you're right look there it goes there it goes yeah you're right Rob I didn't trust you there, but you're right. Oh, oh, Rick. That's all right, you stay there, Rob. I think you're all right. I think we're cool. Just keep it balanced and we're all right. So Rob's staying in the middle, holding the camera. And we are good.
Right guys, uh, Rob's back on the front seat. I'm trying to head right on the tip of Paralimni Marina. Can you see it straight ahead? There we are. There is a big bolt there, double mast bolt. That's what I'm heading for. Perhaps I'd hit the back of it. Not that was the wrong thing to say, wasn't it? We don't no. want to hit the back of it. We want to go round the back of it. By the back of it. Oh no! What's there, George, on our left? Oh, I don't know. Uh, St George's? St George's? Ah, oh, the St George's boat, yeah, right on the uh, boat harbour. Or should I say, uh, boat pier. I'm losing my words, guys, because I'm trying to keep this boat going at the same time. Rob's uh, filming as well. Rob, turn, turn around a little bit. That's it, out to see. That's it, right. Sit inside a little bit, Rob. There we are. Right, now if you turn the camera around, Rob, to me, you might be able to see me ugly face. Oh, there it is. I think we've got a camera view. There we are. Now, we'll wait now a little bit. That breeze is picking up, as you can see. I'm just adjusting the roll. There we are, see? There it goes. You're right there. Yeah. Hold it there, steady. There we go. So I hope this is coming out nice and steady. And uh, I'll tell you what, guys, let's put the camera away. Robert filmed the um, coast for a little bit. Whoa! Whoa, look at that. Now, Rob's actually standing up. That's not bad. I feel very confident now. Go guys, up. it's not just George doing the work. You do have to little, do a little bit of work balancing the boat. Yeah, balance the boat. We haven't got the front jib out, guys. Uh, a little bit too blustery. We could put it out, maybe when we get towards the uh, little harbour. We might put the jib out. We're not too sure what's going on, guys. Right, so what we'll do, we'll turn off the camera and then we'll switch it on when we're past the marina or near the marina. We don't know what we're doing really. Let's switch it off, guys. Right, not bad at all so far. There's Paralini New Marina. Oh, as soon as we hit that camera on, it goes a bit mad, doesn't it? Oh, so there's that schooner, the double basket schooner. That's so not straight ahead because the camera's to my side but to my left. So hopefully we don't put it, so I think he might be annoyed. He's been there quite a few days. I don't know what he's doing now. And he's got a, a little tender that's out the back. And uh, Rob, if you turn that camera around, you can see how blustery it can get. There we are, you see. Rob's trying to hold on to the camera as well as um, balancing the boat bit. Let's get the boat up. Yeah, get there the we boat go. up. You can see, turn the camera a little bit my way and you can see, there we are. See that? See that? That's a blustering, blustering wind. Hey, <laughs> look at that. That's amazing, isn't it, guys? There we are. Now, I don't know how much we've got of that. Um, well, we go back to um, the marina. Get balance in the boat. Okay, I've got it. No worries. We are fine. I think that little gust is going to come from the marina, and then we're going to slow down a little bit because those new marina walls are going to block the wind a bit. I think. So we'll soon find out as we go past the marina. Oh look, he's picking up one of those. Uh, what do you call them, Rob? Oh, like, 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 Those concrete things, you know, we used to play the game. You should spin. What are they going? You should spin. Oh, uh, they're cold, guys. Come on. You can't think can, of trying to keep this boat up, right? Like a spinning, spinning top. A spinning top. I like spinning top. Spinning top. No, no, no. Not spinning top, right? about six sides, and you span it. Yeah, you spin it around. You pick it about or something. I don't know. I'm not really keen on that game. I didn't understand it, really. There you go. There's quite a few games. Is really that the cat in the hat? Hat. The cat in the hat. Remember the cat in the hat? Didn't no. he have a hat like that? He did have a hat like that, yeah. The uh, red wind director. That's the one. Yeah, that's it. Oh, I'm going towards the uh, wall. The harbour wall. I think we'll be alright. We're going to skirt that. 
I'm, I'm hoping to skirt a little bit. Um, of course, the coastline sticks out a bit. Have, have a look at that, see? So really, we want to head a little bit towards the right. Now, what is that, guys? A little bit towards the right. The start, start, start. You know. Winds drop. Yeah, I said that, didn't I? Yeah. How about that, guys? Slight change of direction in the wind, pulling the sail in, it's flapping. There we go. So, slight change of direction. Now it's changing again. Now that's towards our side. There we are. And now, bang! Look at that. Oh, easy, easy, Rob. Wasn't that bad. There. Now we should get a blast as we pass the uh, marina. We're going to pass the marina, we'll get a blast of wind. It's changing direction. Wow, look at that wind direction. Check it out. Look at it go. Whoa, whoa, we are losing it. Pulling the sail here. Whoa, that changed a lot. It's behind us now. It's behind us. It's to our side. What's going on? Is it on our side? That's no, on our side. Oh, it's coming behind us. Or is it me changing direction? What's happening, guys? I don't know what's going on here. It's on our side. Yeah, it's right on our side. That's probably me. That's the marina affecting us. I think it's those buildings oh, that are marina. Blame it on the marina. I think so. The big buildings. Yeah, now yeah, we're moving. Yeah. They're we block know what we're doing, don't we? we? We're perfectly capable sailors, aren't we? Serena Bay. Serena Bay, yep, 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 Serena Bay. And a big jigsaw puddle. And the jig, jigsaw puddle, or whatever you call it. Right. Um, what's that? Crystal Springs coming up? Now, when we pass Crystal Springs, we do get a gust of wind. It's always windy around Crystal Springs. Oh, you can feel it now. Can you feel that? Yep. There you are. Right, so what we do, guys, we're going to turn the camera off now head towards the uh, little dinky harbour or club should I say and then um, we'll switch the video back on if we're still alive. So we did get a little bit of water in the boat guys we've got a tiny leak and uh, it did splash about a bit it got really rough right outside fig tree bay right down there got really really rough let me just clean the lens a bit that's fine and uh we made it back didn't we rob okay. how about that it's amazing it was a bit hairy it was a bit hairy, enjoyable, hairy. very enjoyable hairiness and now we're just going to hold it down guys lots and lots of salt on the boat looking good and we hold down the jib sail we didn't open the jib sail it's as you can see it's quite blustery one minute it's calm and next minute it blusters it really does blow so um throw that in we've made this by the way i don't think we videoed this did we, we didn't know see that guys it's a bit of a pipe there it is no it's not a hang noose no you don't put it over although, your head although it, i did want to use it once you did want to use it a couple of times i he was a bit um suicidal out there i think no i don't think he was actually guys he did thoroughly enjoyed it we, we had a great time now now this guys you hang it over the boat like that just drop it and i'll show you see that you can adjust it with the loops and uh, basically you can put your foot on there and push yourself up into the boat Oh, we did have a little bit of a disaster, didn't we? Which one? How many kilos are you now? I'm 93. 93 kilos, right. What happened, guys? Let me just show you it why Rob's holding it down. That's not my fault, George. No, no, no. I just, blame the I, boat maker. Yeah, the... <laughs> no, I, I wasn't asking you how many kilos you are just because the uh, seat broke. <laughs> Now it's nothing much guys, can you see underneath there, there's some really small screws and the previous person must have put them, they're not very efficient. There is a big metal bracket there, I've just pulled it back up, you can see it moved down. In fact Rob, you've been alright because it's catching there, the screws are catching, it's just a bit loose. So what I'll do is I'll pull that back up and uh, I'll take some 
of the polystyrene out the side I'll open these hatches take some polystyrene out and what I do is I'll put a bit of wood in the back of there and then uh, bolt it back in it, it would have been better if I was 80 kilos it would have been but I, I, I can't blame you there it was hair raising as well and you kept your weight off that chair we did tack shortly afterwards or turn the boat round and uh, most of the way back we were sitting on that side so that that was really convenient wasn't it brilliant brilliant so we've had a fantastic sail guys we've got a bit more salt here so a bit more fresh water in fact oh in fact we need a little bit here oh what's happened here what happened there look at that look at that scratch wow wear and tear wear and tear i wonder what happened there then look at that now what hit that what did we hit does the, does the rope hit does anything come no. across? oh well, do I you think, think yeah I think oh do you think it's the halyard yeah. no this main sheet i think that's hitting that you think it's hitting the side it's where it's worn out the paint a bit but see but don't matter though does it though? no we haven't sat there here. but it really doesn't matter that's the whole point we get these little sort of lines and that indicates where all the pressure points are you see have we done the uh, main sail probably we don't really want that deteriorating because it's a beautiful main sail guys uh, so we don't want that deteriorating we've got the top done yep i think we're all done i'm going to leave my life jacket in there and we have got a little uh, stand actually somewhere i've lost it there see it's uh halfords oh is it oh yeah so it is the uh, little halford stand and what we do is we pick the boat up once it's empty and then we'll put it on the stand it keeps it upright and then we'll put the cover and we're all done today well that was about two and a half hours easy at least, easy, at least two and a half hours guys to fig tree bay and back in fact two hours to fig tree bay wind against us up in that direction and then um 40 or so minutes 45 okay, minutes 50 minutes back 50 minutes straight back guys here we are in the car park of the flamingo paradise i've just picked up all the aluminium cans and we'll go and have a slow beer at that wonderful restaurant come in rob why no, not so we've had a wonderful day sailing guys we've come down here at the flamingo paradise to pick up all the cans for ella's blind cat sanctuary they put them to one side for us and uh, we'll take them down to the way bridge get a few more pounds for the blind cats ah wow look at this guys oh i can really do with a slow beer and they've got convenient located comfortable chairs everywhere hello hello we'll go around here hello how are you let's go around here they've even got bean bags but i'm not going to get on a bean bag there's a lovely swimming pool i'm not getting on the bean bag i'm gonna sit uh, here there's convenient located comfortable chairs they're all over the place and we'll have a slow beer look at the view guys oh we might have a seat at the front oh yes there is guys it's not lunchtime now i think it's about four o'clock so we can have this seat here there we are there's the promenade deck oh i've called it a promenade deck it's our coastal path coastal path yeah, yeah. But it's it's yeah, not in england no no oh that's right it's a promenade in england isn't it but today or cyprus it's a coastal path oh it's wonderful here isn't it Now, where did we sail to? We, we, we went past, Cape, uh, past uh, Fig Tree Bay. Past, sorry. Past Fig Tree Bay. Fig Tree Bay, that's right, which is just up there, isn't it? Uh, in fact, see, the, oh, it's out. That's the schooner that we went past, isn't it? It is. It is, it's gone out, guys. There it is. I don't know if you can see it on the camera because we've got umbrellas in front of us. 
and we actually sailed past that headland. They can see that. Can you see the headland, guys? It is quite far for this camera. Anyway, we sailed a little bit past that headland, but right out, right out there. We tacked and then we made Fig Tree Bay and then we scoot along. Well, a world worth sort of uh, afternoon lunch. What's the time, please? Well deserved slow beers. Lovely yeah. Lovely. Thank you very much. Michael, we've picked up the cans for the cat sanctuary. Thank you very much. There's a whole load of them there. Guys, can you see that? Is that clear on the camera? In fact, if I turn it this way, that's better. Can you see these dots? That's where we went. We went out like that. That's the closest to the shore we can get with the wind. We got to the far point there. Then we came back, hit Fig Tree Bay, just there and then we followed the coastline down and these other dots here on land that's where Rob drove this today but this is the dots we want to see you can see out there down Fig Tree Bay is just there and then we went along the coast so what did we have? I've forgotten Lunsa Herlumi no was it? chicken Oh, did you change the order? We changed it. We had chicken wrap. Try one. Try it. Come on, Rob. We're sharing. Oh. Got all the chips. Come on, try it. I know their chips are double delish. Oh, that is delicious. That is really Have nice. Have you tried it? Really nice. Told you, didn't yeah. I? It's an amazing place. Just a bit mm. Right, I'm going to have a chip because I know that. I'm not putting tomato sauce on. Very fresh, loads of flavour. Amazing. Loads of flavour. Yeah, very good. Mm. Now, try them chips. Yeah. Yeah. Good chips. Proper chips. Yeah. Triple delish, good. aren't they? Mm. Absolutely amazing. So, well, should we summarise what yeah. we've happened today, Rob? I think so. Where have we been? We've been on uh, the Olympic. The Olympic. We started off at the Aya Triada Dinghy Club. We did. And uh, where else did we go? We sailed out past on the ocean out there. Look at the ocean. Okay, down there. There we are. Right out past Fig, Fig, Tree, Fig Tree Bay. Fig Tree Bay down there. Past that bit of headland. That Passing. headland there. About a mile out, I think. Yep, and then when we came in, we came past uh, Flamingo Paradise which we are in now and that's where you got a brainwave don't forget we got to pick up the cans for the Ella blind cat because sanctuary because the crew said you must i mustn't forget to remind you that's right so that was specific instructions by the crew what? then we sailed along here didn't we we did we did passed it all the way we're just nice and steady all the way along the coast yep line. and that's when we put the camera on we did and then we decided why don't we have a a fantastic snack at the Flamingo Paradise and the Slow Beer. And it was delish. And that was Both double delish. delish. So we've had a fantastic day. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if there's somewhere you'd like me to go, put it in the comments below.